What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be going over layouts in PyQt6. Layouts allow us to arrange widgets together and it allows us to have complete control over where we place our widgets on our screen. So let's get right into it. So there are three main layouts that we're gonna talk about today. These include QV box layout, QH box layout, and Q grid layout. So first we're gonna start with QV box layout. So QV box layout allows us to arrange widgets vertically, right? So really one on top of the other. So I would have one, two, three, just like that, kind of like a stack. And to do that, first we're gonna import QV box layout. So from the QT widgets class, we're gonna do import QV box layout. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I have to create an instance of this QV box layout. Class. So I'm going to create a layout and this is going to be QV box layout, just like this. So now we have an instance of the QV box layout class. And what we can do is we can add widgets to this box layout. And every widget that we add in the order that we add them will be placed one on top of the other. So the first widget we add will be at the top and the second widget will be right below that and so on. So let me just create a few widgets here. <laughs> Okay, so I have my widgets, and all I have to do is to add the widget to the layout, I just have to do layout.addWidget, and then the name of the widget. So here I just added a label one. Oops, it seems I do not have Q label imported, so let me import that real, real quickly. Okay, and layout, I'm gonna do the same thing for labels two and three. And it's going to arrange it in the order that I added it. So at the top would be one, then two, then three. Okay. So now I'm going to create a widget. This is going to be a Q widget. And this is really just going to be our window, right? So this is like a placeholder for our window. And I'm going to do widget.set layout layout. So all I'm doing is I'm saying I'm telling the widget that our main layout is going to be this QV box layout. And within this QV box layout, we're gonna have these three widgets. And lastly, I'm going to do self.setCentralWidget widget. So as we've done in previous videos, we're just displaying this Q widget. Now, just double checking to see if I did everything I wanted to, I think I did. And now let's run this application. And as you can see, we have three widgets here and they're arranged vertically. So this is a QV box layout. So next is QH box layout. And as you may have guessed, QH box layout is just horizontally arranged. So instead of one on top of the other, it's side by side until it fills up the screen, okay? So all we have to do to get a QH box layout is we'll first have to import it. So I'm going to import QH box layout. And then instead of layout being QV box layout, I'm just going to put QH box layout. So that is literally all we have to do to change it from vertically aligned to horizontally aligned. And if I run this, you can see instead of top to bottom, it's left to right. Okay. So you can see QV box layout and QH box layout are very similar. And it just depends on what you want to do with your program and how you want to arrange the widgets. So the last layout we're going to talk about is Q grid layout. And as the name suggests, it is just a grid and you can place widgets based on rows and columns. So this allows us to place widgets more dynamically, right? So widgets don't have to be right next to each other. They can be staggered uh, like a like a checkerboard and stuff like that. So I would say with Q grid layout, we have slightly more control over where we can place our widgets. Okay. So again, I have to import Q grid layout. Q grid layout. Okay. And instead of our layout being Q H box layout, we're gonna do Q grid layout. Now, so when we add a widget to our Q grid layout, we have to specify where in the grid we want that widget to be. So for example, if I wanted, when I put layout to add widget label one, 
after label one, I would have to put the row number, so zero, and then the column number. So I also do zero. And say I wanted label two to be right under label one, I would do row one, column zero. So now label two is right under label one. But if I want label three to be to the right of label one, I could do row zero, column one, okay? So if I run this, you can see that we have label one at row zero, column zero, label two at row one, column zero, and label three at row zero, column one. So I was able to dynamically arrange the widgets, uh, not to any specific order or patterns, not to the left, not straight down, right? You can see I have two below and three to the right. We have an empty space here. This is row one, column one. Uh, we could actually leave this empty. We could work around the space. So, so like I say, slightly more control over where we place our widgets. So I hope you see how this works. And if you have any questions, make sure to, to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but this really sums up layouts. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.